championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. fights to his credit, a lot of 25 minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. for this lightweight fight. Both fighters are 31. Volkanovski will have the one inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. They touch him up and we are underway. Wrestling, that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early and he lands off. Well, 
if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every... Wow, actually got the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nurmagomedov's has got full mount now. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And they separate. Big power shot now there. Transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Second round, straight ahead. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Well-placed kick there by Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. A little single collar tie there. Oh, now going to the judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase the mission. So he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over two minutes now to go in round two.
right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. One minute. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meadow. And the horn sounds on round two. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. I thought he showed some great ground defense skills in the previous round. Doesn't want to hang out off of his back fighting there for too long, but that said, not a whole lot of damage being inflicted. Well, it's not ideal position. You know, you don't want to be on your back, but if you are there, you want to make sure that you're moving. You want to make sure that you're controlling your opponent's posture. You want to make sure you're not getting brutalized by the top fighter. He really did a good job of limiting the damage he took while he was in a bad position. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Now it's his mouth. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Throws the right hand there. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Volkanovski's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just reached the midway point of the fight. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Nice hammer fist. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. 85 total strikes have now landed. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just misses with a left hook there. Single collar tie now. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. 20 seconds to go. Final seconds. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off that stool. And this is a real shooto throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to a submission. Volkanovski's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Solid strike on the ground. Ground and pound going now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Three minutes. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Able to land the single ground strike there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volkanovski. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patch. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Final round, you ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Strong outside leg kick. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. Now. Whoa! Now goes in and secures the takedown. See a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And he landed the right hand there. All right, side control now. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nurmagomedov. Solid strike on the ground. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under one minute remains in round five. Nice hammer fist. Sound strike on the ground. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Volkanovski. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib So there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no match for the champion. Team. For a long time, we talked about.